What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Snow Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about a couple news stories you might have missed for December 7th. But I want to start it off by talking quickly about the future tomorrow. The Game Awards is tomorrow, tomorrow night. I believe it starts at 5 p.m. Pacific time. I am going to be co streaming it on my main channel, Podcast Now. So if you guys want to go watch it, actually, the video is already up on that channel. You can set reminders, and I hope to see you guys. I'm really, really excited for the Game Awards. And hopefully we have quite a bit to talk about Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, and a bunch of different videos for what we see at the Game Awards. So that's what's coming up tomorrow. And then there were two different stories that came out today that I didn't already cover. I covered the Uncharted thing also on my main channel. These are two stories I didn't cover, one of which is Forspoken, right? So new gameplay is going to be shown uh, on Forspoken on Friday. So actually, you got the Game Awards, and then the next day at 1 p.m. Eastern or 10 a.m. Pacific, Pacific time, you get 11 minutes of new footage of Forspoken on the PlayStation channel. So that is pretty exciting. I've made quite a few videos on Forspoken already, but just very quickly, like I am looking forward to it. I'm kind of on the positive side of the game. I do think there are some things that look a little troubling, but I think the gameplay is probably going to be the thing that just carries this game. Uh, if the game is good, I think the gameplay will be the, the biggest reason why. And we really have less than like a month and a half, uh, January 24th, I think. Well, maybe that's exactly around a month and a half until the game releases so very exciting next story is a rumor but it's that diablo 4 is going to be releasing on june 5th 2023 and it comes from an account that is really i don't know how to say it i'm not even going to try to say it um but they are very good uh, i recognize them specifically for skull and bones they've nailed pretty much everything they've ever said on skull and bones i know they've done other games as well i really see no reason to not trust them i think they get their info from like the store pages i think they went through like the xbox store kind of behind the scenes stuff so that's cool now the rumor originally i think was it was supposed to come out earlier or maybe there'll be like a beta or some form of the game that you're going to be able to play earlier but it seems like the full launch of the full game is june 5th um to me honestly that's pretty okay considering right now january through probably march is actually extremely booked i mean we're booked up uh, all the way we don't need any more games coming out during that time so diablo kind of being part of the next stretch right that april through june july and then well july normally is a little bit more dead right so diablo can kind of fit in there so i'm pretty happy about that as well and then the final story i want to talk about and i i don't like talking about this controversy so i'm just gonna say like what happened small thoughts and move on with my life but the whole Activision Blizzard, you know, Xbox, PlayStation, every company known to man is underneath this umbrella, right? But last night, it was announced that Xbox or Microsoft had partnered with Nintendo. So when the deal goes through, or if the deal goes through, which I think it will, but when it goes through, that Nintendo will have 10-year access. They have a 10-year deal to keep COD on their platform. And they also, I think, announced it for PC as well. So what basically I feel like they're trying to do, and I think other people agree, is they're just trying to make Sony feel like isolated. They're trying to make it seem, at least to the regulators that are, you know, voting on all this stuff, that, hey, we're willing to offer deals, right? We're willing to give out this 10-year deal. And whether you think it's right or wrong, right? Again, kind of stepping aside from the uh, the controversy, but I believe that's what Microsoft is doing, is saying, hey, we're willing, we're even willing, in fact, Microsoft said last night as well, we're willing to give Sony a 10-year deal. By the sound of things, Sony either wants a 10-year deal and other things, or they want more than a 10-year deal, right? But Microsoft is kind of making it, or they're, they're again, the, the visual from these regulators is going to be, hey, we are willing to make deals. We're going to keep it on everything for 10 years. Sony doesn't want to play ball. That's their problem. Can we have this deal? Can Activision Blizzard be ours? And that seems to be what they're doing. So, you know, controversy aside, that's what happened with that story last night. All right. So thank you guys for watching. Again, go check out my Game Awards video on my main channel. I hope to see you guys there. And as always, thank you for watching these videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one.